How about it, YouTube? Today I'm changing up my light bulbs. Go ahead. We uh, did a little bit of math on these incandescents, hold it, versus LED. And what we come up with was the old incandescent bulbs. And I'll show you this mathematical equation. Hold it. If you can see right there, Daddy, he did some mathematical wizardry and he come up with that, a full page of long division math. And he come up with it would cost right at $250 per house to use these bulbs for a roughly month. Pull up about five foot. And uh, hold it. I got on the internet and I Googled up a wattage calculator. And I come up with the same thing right at $250 a month to run these lights. And I know that they dim, or they dim them, but when you dim these incandescents, they don't go down in wattage. And these here are 60s here, and I did my math with brood lights for about a week, and then these, and I know people got darkness for a certain amount of time. You know, we got to give them some darkness for animal welfare, so. I factored that in. I don't know what your numbers is, but I factored in what we're required to do. $250 a month. But when you change to these LEDs, and this is a 17 watt bulb. Hold it. They cost me $5 a piece. I got them off the Amazon. And they're 5,000 Kelvin. I guess you can see behind me. But uh, when you go to the LED and you dim them, and I just put 50% uh, after about a week. So three weeks at 50% dim, these bulbs actually dim down. And when you dim them down, the wattage goes down. Uh, so 50% be 50% of 17 watts. Anyway, when you crush the numbers on the LEDs, it costs right about $45, that's $45 a month to run LEDs versus oh, $250. Big savings, fellas. Big savings. So I don't know if your integrators allow you to put the LEDs in, but it's a no-brainer. Save two hundred dollars per chicken house. Now, now I did. Oh, I did the math on this chicken house. This chicken house here is a forty by five hundred. These I, I did my math with forty five bulbs, and they might be forty six or seven. I ain't even sure. But uh, anywho, that's pretty fair numbers that we put on this thing. So I'll do a before and after too. You can see behind me how much better these LEDs really giving off some light at a fraction of the cost. So it's a no brainer. We're gonna keep rocking this out and I'll see you here in a minute. Oh, when we get done and I'll give you before and after pictures of uh, what this bad boy looked like before the LEDs and after. And I know these LEDs getting cheap. Oh, 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 oh. bad socket. Sometimes you got to clean these things up. Can't see nothing. Oh, there we go. Alright, go ahead. What I was saying, these is was called Torch Star. I'm sure they come from Wuhan. Cost five dollars a piece, which that's a lot cheaper than LEDs used to be. But don't get too cheap. When you start buying them dollar bulbs and green light or whatever off of eBay or something, or maybe even a jungle store, I don't know. But uh 
them things do not last. So pay a little bit more. Dimmable torch light. I can tell that one's going to work. <laughs> All right. Anyway, what I'm saying again, pay a few dollars more and get a better bulb. They'll last 10 times as long. Hold it. These darn bulbs are so hot I had to put a glove on. You can't even touch them. All right. It's going to be interesting to see. He's got that 7200 dimmer in this house. And I don't. I don't know how good these LEDs are going to dim down. There's some tricks you can do. You might could put one incandescent in at first or one on each end or something or another. We're going to put a fart on it. I'll try my best not to have to change out a dimmer. Hold it. But it really you ought to change out the balls. Go ahead and toss the LED dimmer in too. You'd be glad you did. I think they get dim enough. The chicken catchers don't like it because they don't get dim enough for them with that 7200 dimmer. Hold it. All right, this is a picture of the house the, with the incandescent lights. Uh, pretty dim. The camera really adds light to it, but it's dimmer than you think. All right, well, you can see the difference. Like night and day. All right, we're going to try that old 7200 dimmer out. Go ahead, go down with them. Oh yeah. That dim is it a go? That on one? Go to one? They acted a little bit funny, but for the most part, they do pretty good. All right, you can brighten them back up. Anywho, this video ain't about what grows the better chicken LED or the old incandescent? Uh, Cause that's not for me to decide. Y'all had to figure that out on your own. Anyway, it's about the money savings and 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 the brightness. I like it bright when I get the biddies. So now we got it bright when we get the biddies. But anyways, money savings. Good to get your bonus up front. Saving two hundred dollars a chicken house times the number of your chicken houses and, and you'll have to do the math if you got a bigger chicken house or what shorter or whatever uh just google it wattage calculator and you can figure it up on your own um that's a wrap on this video thanks for watching if you like the chicken house videos subscribe share it maybe y'all learn something anyways we'll see you next time